get a for Halloween something very scary today. The internet is dead. Well, um, archive.org is gone. The internet archive and the Wayback Machine have been hacked. Archive.org was the safety net for the internet. But it turns out the safety net had no safety net. It's gone. All you see is this. It was an American digital library founded back in 96. A while ago now. People uploaded things, but mostly it was web crawler bots that scavenged the internet to preserve it. Hacktivist group Black Meta claimed responsibility for the hack that first had this announcement on the archive.org page. Have you ever felt like the Internet Archive runs on sticks and is constantly on the verge of suffering a catastrophic security breach? Oh yeah. It just happened. See 31 million of you on HIBP. Must be a personal protection website. So the uploader's personal details have been possibly compromised. Now if you go to archive.org, as of this recording, you get temporarily offline. And then their Twitter account. So I like archive.org because they preserve a lot of old commercials, commercial breaks, hours of them. Um, I scooped up a few of them before this catastrophic event. Like this one I'm fond of, and is very Halloween-y, of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. That was a close shave. I'm glad I took the liberty of recording that. I archived an archive. Um, do you think it will ever come back? Can they retrieve all these files? Are they just sitting in limbo in many servers that can just be plucked back on the internet? I hope so, but it makes you wonder. Should we have a better preservation system? And let's go further. Archive.org is down. Could this ever happen to the YouTubes? Can you imagine all 4 billion YouTube videos wiped, gone? Shocking, isn't it? Just to think about. It could happen. There could be a solar flare, another hacktivist group. Activist group that hacks. Hacktivist group. Clever. You know, there could be a war, and then what are we going to do? We won't have dancing kittens on pianos, would we? So what videos would you, or should you, be saving right now, downloading to your own phones and computers? Um, well, besides this one, I have a top five list of which YouTube videos I'll be saving. Number five. I think I'm going to download Chase Explains 2001 to Confuse Matthew. Confuse Matthew made a video about how 2001 A Space Odyssey sucked. And then Chase, an uh, intelligent nerd, took issue with this and then dismantled Confuse Matthew's trolling complaints one by one in a very whimsical and intelligent way that I, I've listened to a million times by now, despite the views being so low. 
I have never met anyone that was able to watch this film without fast forwarding through most of it. Um, so what, Matthew? Uh, what you're doing here is known as argument ad populum, and it is not an argument. The amount of people who agree on a particular premise has no bearing in and of itself on the reality of that premise. Confused Matthew went after the wrong movie. Number four video I will save is The Grabowski's, The Hardware Store. I'll take a double cheeseburger combo meal, uh, no onions, uh, large fry, large coke too. This is the funniest three minutes you'll ever spend in a hardware store. Number three, AI Paul McCartney sings Against All Odds. I'll do not to set you on me, to set you leave without a trace. Now this is soul soaring. They've made Paul's voice sound great on this classic Phil Collins tune. And I think it improves it vastly. Sorry, Phil, if you're watching. When I stand here take Number two, scientifically accurate chipmunks. Rescue Rangers, when people say they kill people, more than four in Yosemite alone. Now this teaches us about chipmunks, but to the tune of the fictional Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. So that's a winning scenario. And above all, we have to believe in the science. I trust the scientists. And um, number one video I would preserve out of four billion videos on YouTube, um, the best video is, drum roll please, Rebecca Black's Friday for orchestra. Thanks Walt Ribeiro for this great melding of two musical spectrums. Things that shouldn't go together, Rebecca Black and classical orchestra. And in doing so, creates further magic and humor. And when you think about it, isn't that what Halloween is all about? Wonder what Rebecca Black is up to now. Oh no!